All right, so how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. And another quick tech news video, another you know episode of what do I know? Today we're looking at the GT 1010. I, that's a really budget bad GPU to get. You know, let me just get it out of the way and straight out of the back. But hey, it's a fun news to be honest. This GPU was listed on Teobeo, or the Chinese website. It goes for around seventy dollars. There's a Lenovo version of it. It's a two gigabyte uh, GPU. It doesn't consume TDP; only consumes thirty watt of TDP. So it's really like you know, not that power hungry GPU. And uh, yeah, there isn't much to say here. I guess this is a step down version of the GT 1030 in terms of performance. When it comes to the benchmarks, the three D Mark Times by Extreme benchmarks, it was for around one hundred and seventy the points when you compare it to the average points of the gt1030 the gt1030 goes for around 200 to 180 points so it's pretty much the same performance only 10 percent difference and let me tell you it looks pretty like cute <laughs> there isn't anything else to say here a gt1010 who want that to be honest it's got 256 CUDA cores and it also has pcie gen 4 so yeah like i don't think we'll ever see this gpu goes in sock but if it is if you can get a gpu for 70 dollars i mean hey how could that be a bad thing you could play games like valorant at 100 fps let's just say it that way fortnite may be the same uh but yeah it's a really like okay gpu for indie games but why not go used at this point well if you have a dell optiplex gaming pc if you just have a pc that doesn't have the best power supply in the world and you just to play, want to play casual games, I guess this is, here it is, the answer for you, a GT 1010. You know. There hasn't been any news about the launch of this GPU or anything uh, regarding that. But anyways, if we ever gonna see this GPU in the market anytime soon, I guess it's not a bad thing, you know, to replace the really bad and old GPUs that are sold on Amazon right now, like a 630 or something. These GPUs are really overpriced and they're rubbish, you know, let me just say it. So, hey, that's been it for that quick news. I think it's gonna be a good GPU for the price point it provides, you know. And, uh, yeah, if you like that video, please press on that like button. If you wanna see more videos of that kind, subscribe. See you in the next one and peace.